Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Today we're back in Ardwick Junction and uh, things are going good. We have had a, uh, we've had the seal, uh, well there's a seal there. Hello, seal. Yes, there we go. There's a seal. You've all seen one. Uh, the seals have mated, which is excellent. I don't believe that the uh, the offspring have arrived yet. No, it would appear not. So, uh, But the seals have mated. We've got the common ostrich, common ostrich even, about to mate. We've got penguins under here that have just mated. So uh, there's plenty of things that are, uh, that are going good. Oh, hang on a second. There's fighting in the sable antelope enclosure. Who would have thought? Right, let's have a look. We need to sell some sable antelopes, obviously. Uh, right, where are we? Uh, but, 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 oh, hang on, we've got a load of exhibits. Flipping heck, they're, uh, these Amazonian giant centipede doodads are breeding like nobody's business. Right, we'll trade them for just short of two grand. And uh, let's have a look in our animals. Uh, burr, 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 burr. Where are they? Sable antelopes, they'll be down here. Right, that's the alpha male. And you are... Yes, you, you that is you. You are better than that because you've got a gold and you've only got a silver. So we'll we'll get rid of Unika. Uh, release to the wild, I think. There we go. Uh, that'll do. Unika has gone. Now in the actual sable antelope, I think that's the only... Yeah, we've only got one male and that is the alpha male. It's getting quite old though. Uh, I mean, we don't have any sort of young males coming through. We've got two that are pregnant. Obviously, if you're preggers, Fema, uh, if you're pregnant with the male and you're both gold standard, then surely we should have a gold standard child. Well, not child, but you know what I mean. Surely that should be the case. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an expert in antelope uh, antelope breeding, as you can tell, probably. And uh, But yeah, that's, uh, that's good. We're making money 70 grand in the old bank there. That is pretty impressive. The vet research... Uh, we'll uh, we'll actually set you researching some sort of disease. Uh, there you go. Research that disease because there's no other animals at this time we need researching. Mechanic research. You've done everything. Wow. So uh, yeah, get researching some habitats and some. Uh, what about some? St <coughs> Excuse me. Some staff facilities. That should do. The other things are just mainly themes, aren't they? But facilities and habitats. That's uh, that's a good thing. Shelters and climbing. Is also another one we could do with uh, with getting sorted, isn't it? Uh, oh, the grey seal is coming on. Can we get you some better food? Because I know your food wasn't brilliant, was it? We can get you grade three food. We want you to be nice and uh, nice and well fed. How's your uh, how's your habitat? Oh, the habitat is oh no, that's not good. Temperature, right? Okay. Is this because I've not got a dude out here? Or is that because this is too cold? I don't know. Right, let's have a look. What what is that? Oh no, that's a that's a ball thing. Right, okay. So let's have a look in the old book. Uh, Grey seal. What temperature do you want it to be? First of all, further down. Grey seal. Ugh, scary. Uh, right, minus fifteen to twenty six degrees. So why were you complaining? Is it not good enough? Right, you were happier over here where it was cooler. Right, okay. Because we haven't got enough cooling down doodars in our uh, in our area. There we go. So if we put you there, we'll stick you there, and we'll stick one there as well. There we go. How's that then? Let's, let's go back to the heat maps. Ooh, look at that. He's going to be happier now, isn't he? Oh, nice and cold. Nice and cold indeed. Uh, in terms of the water temperature, I don't think that there's a problem here. They, they never seem to be kicking off about water temperature. I mean, if we, if we zoom in, have we got a seal under here by any chance? No, we haven't. Oh no, the Arctic Wolf's about to die of old age. Although that seal's had offspring. Oh, look, it's a baby seal. It's like water dogs, aren't they? Oh no, an animal's died. Oh, Christ. We've had a few of these that have died recently, haven't we? But it is always of old age. What animals have we got in here? Oh, we have a few. That's good. They're all kids, though. Isla is the oldest one. These are these are all kids. Yotimo, Tulimac, and 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 that one. <laughs> we haven't had a lot of available food, so what we'll do is we'll put another one of these in. 
Let's have a look in the habitat and just see. Available food. Bedding. That's another thing. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll Because uh, there's obviously more, more wolves, isn't there? More arctic wolves. So we'll stick you down there. And then what we'll do is we'll go into habitat. Yes, right. Species. Arctic wolf. Why, why is it not here? There it is. Arctic wolf. Beds and shelters. Let's have a bit of bedding. There we go. A bit more there. And uh, let's put an extra large piece of bedding there. There you go. You can always go lie down there, wolves. The bedding is... Oh, the bedding is actually 3D. Oh, look at his so cute. Reminds me of our dog at home. Oh, they are sweet. Well, we need to find an animal to go in this corner here, and then we've sort of got this little bit of the zoo done. I mean, <laughs> it's not exactly brilliant for my uh, my decorating skills, is it? My decorating skills are fairly shoddy. There we go. We'll stick a bit of that in there. Bit more bush over here. That bush is floating. Bushes are not meant to float. No, sorry, they're not. Let's have a bit more of that. We'll have some of that in the middle there. I like the little three clusters. I think you can always do a cluster of three and make it look reasonably good, but we'll have a cluster of four there, just so that they're not all clusters of three. Right, what we'll do then is, uh, let's have a look first of all, oh, vet research. <coughs> yes, we've researched some disease, that's good. That is good news. Uh, once that's done, I mean, we, we ideally want to get them all researched, don't we? Have we researched any? Yes, we've done avian influenza and border telosis. Exciting. Right, animal trading. Let's have a look. Now, we ideally want something cold. Because this is the cold area. Hmm. It'd be nice if you could set it by, like... You see the, the favourites only? No, refresh the list. Arctic. Yeah, you see, Arctic wolves are obviously cold. And grizzly bear. They come from a cold area, but they're not Arctic, are they? Uh, Siberian tiger, now that's a cold thing. A snow leopard, ooh. Now that's exciting. Right, snow leopard it is. And they are very, very likeable. People like a snow leopard. Right, there we go. Snow leopard has been adopted and can go to the quarantine. What have we unlocked? We've unlocked some more disease. Excellent. Now, snow leopards don't want to climb up fences, do they? Well, they do want to climb up fences, so we're going to have to make sure that they can't climb up fences. Uh, what do you need? So you need climb proof more than three metres. Now, what is all this? Let's have a look. That is only two metres, so we're going to have to make you taller. Mm. Hang on. Oh, you've not selected all of it, you blithering idiot. We'll go with 3.06. And then we'll just make you less tall. 3.06 to be precise, if we... That'll do 3.07. Okay. Now, is there a way we can get both sides to be climb-proof? Uh, right, okay. Both. There we go. You're not climbing up either side. Now, down here, of course, there's this dude out here. Will the snow leopard be happy in, a, in an enclosure so small? Yes, it will. That was easy, wasn't it? It's been decided. Uh, right, resistance grade 5. I think we need something of a high resistance grade. Six whilst, six whilst powered. Corrugated. I think an electric fence is not ideal, but these are snow leopards we're talking about. Curved sections, right, okay, look at that. Ooh, we can make a curvy electric fence. Wow! We need, like, some sort of caveat on here for the guests, like, do not touch the electric fence. There we go. We'll build you round there. Oh! Beautiful. It looks awful. <laughs> oh dear. Right, make it straight again. And the length can be less. About four metres. That'll do. And then ping you on there. 
Okay, it's not the best, but it'll do. Now, we need a door. A glass habitat door. Oof, posh. There we go, that'll do down there. There's a lot of that'll do, isn't there? Now, what I am going to do before we start... Hang on, where's the nearest powering device? Is this powered? Can, can we see if it's powered? No. How do we know if it's powered? The grey seal is uh, is researched. That's good. Diseased animal discovered. Right, rotavirus. Right, we'll get researching that then. Make it better. Oh, hang on, we've got a present. Botulism toxo toxigosis. Have we been given some disease as a gift? Oh, you've unlocked a research. That's good. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Right, well, you research that one as well. well. While there's no other animals, we may as well research the disease. Hang on, how have you passed the quarantine already? That were quick. We've got some good staff, haven't we? Now, habitat. We need some coolers, don't we? Because this is a snow leopard. It wants to be cold. There we go, pop a cooling device up in that corner. I mean, there's not going to be any snow for said leopard, but it's going to be nice and cool. Now, nature. Oh no, I tell you what, we'll, we'll go with we'll go with the habitat first of all. Food and water. Uh, right, Arctic wolf. I imagine they're going to use the same thing, aren't they, as uh, the Arctic wolf and the snow leopards? But we'll, we'll tick, the, tick the box, just to make sure we're giving them the right stuff. So, food tray. Pop that there. And the water pipe. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Put the water pipe near, near there, so everyone can see the leopard having some water. Ah, isn't that nice? There we go. Put some bedding in and a basic shelter. Eight by eight by two. Look at that. Over there. I hope the leopard doesn't taunt the uh, <laughs> taunt the wolves. Hello, leopard. Right. You're not happy with your terrain, are you? But I mean, to be fair, the Everything else is pretty decent. So we need less long grass, and we need more snow. Okay, I mean, I think we'll be able to do that quite easily. If we go on terrain, and paint the snow. Look at that. Happy with that? Is that better? Enrichment, oh well, the, uh, the terrain is brilliant. It's loving the terrain. But we just need some enrichment. So, let's have a look. Uh, right, hang on. Let's see, you're researching the disease. That's not good. Right, mechanic research is complete. Get that done. Staff facilities are on the way. Vet research, low welfare, animal is stressed. Oh, do you know what? This will be because... We've got too many ostriches again. Right, well, let's just finish attending to this, and then I'll come and sort you out in just a minute. Right. Now, food enrichment. Let's have a zebra. A plain zebra, because yes, of course, snow leopards often come across plain zebras in the wild. There we go. Scratching tree. Fire hose ball. We'll have one of them. As you can tell, I'm putting a lot of thought into this. Um, right, are you happy now? There's, there's plenty of enrichment there, isn't there? Yes, you, you're positively thrilled. We could do with maybe some more trees and a bit more decorative foliage in there. Uh, but what we will do is, whilst we're here, is we'll select that. Yep. Duplicate. Duplicate it there. However, you're not a seal. I don't... Oh, hang on, hang on. That's not what I want meant to do. You're not a seal. You are a snow leopard. Display the right information, for goodness sake. People are going to enjoy the snow leopard, I think. Right, duplicate. Yep, stick you there. Stick you on the corner. About there. Round here again. I always put lots of information boards in our parks. Oh, you're not powered. Right, okay. That is interesting. Right, check the mechanic. Water treatment requires repair. Good lord. Right, mechanic is urgently assigned to that one. What have we unlocked? New habitats. Good, good, good. Right, let's have a look on the old lecky 
side of things. Power. Right, we need more power then, obviously. Uh, facilities. Utilities. Oh, I've got Arctic Tick. We don't need that. Solar panel. Should we have some solar panels? But, I mean, the, the wind turbine does more. Arguably. Right, we'll stick you there. And then we'll have paths. Some nice staff paths. What about that one? Lovely. It's a different colour, isn't it? But that means that now everything is powered. <coughs> and that's good. We could do with finding another snow leopard, though, couldn't we? As well as, where are our uh, donation stations? Right, duplicate you. Stick one down there. Yeah, lovely. Oh, an animal's escaped. Oh, hang on a second. The snow leopard is out of the enclosure. Yeah. Well, let me just put this down so you can all give us your money. Oh my god, the leopard's going to eat someone. Get back in your house, you... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yeah, just don't panic everybody. Everything's under control. Let's just stick a bit of an anti-climb fence on top of that. That always helps, doesn't it? There we go. Right. Back in the zoo, please. Everybody, come on. Oh, they're all running still. Come on, you don't need to run. It's not chasing you. Ah, oh, they're, they're not listening, are they? They're all hysterical. Oof. Go, get over it. It's a leopard. It's not going to kill you. Okay, there's quite a strong chance it probably will try and kill you, but it's fine. Live life on the edge, for goodness sake. Right, breed exhibit species. We've done that, so we'll have a reward. Thank you. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Right, well, I'll tell you what. We shall put that up to 26 quid and 13 pound. It's a shame, because, I mean, we're making money, so why should we have to keep putting the money up? We, we shouldn't, should we, really? But what we will do is, because we're making more money, we'll, uh, we've, well, we've got educators, haven't we? So we'll put two more educators in. There we go. You guys just sort of whiz round and make people educated. How does that sound? The two educators can't be trained yet, which is a bit annoying, but uh, security guard, get them both trained. We've got him just loitering around the Arctic Retail Hub, Diego Hatton. And uh, and these chaps all need training as well. Look at that. Let's let's get you trained up, retail people. Little retail minions. Because we want you to be able to offer a brilliant service. You know, we're, we're a good zoo. I think this is an awesome zoo, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm not the best at the old decorating, but in terms of the management, I think we've got it absolutely nailed. We're, we're working well. What am I researching now? Am I still on disease? I am, aren't I? Right, come off that, Vanessa. Oh, hang on. Where's the where's the vet research? Right, Vanessa, start researching the leopard. The leopard needs to be researched. We want to improve our education. I like this tree. Why is it there? Is it just... Oh, it's one of the random ones that are splattered around the park. I mean, when you actually look at what we've done and what we, you know, the space of what we've got to do, there is quite a lot that we can do, isn't there? I wonder if we could, like, build a tunnel under the, under the, under this, so that the snow leopard could run round over here as well and could use the tunnel underneath. I wonder if that's a possibility. Maybe it is. Ooh, that'd be awesome. Right, hang on. So, we need to just nip over here to the ostriches, because things were not good. We have too many ostriches, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some. Uh, I mean, sorry, we're going to move some on. Right. Common ostrich. Let's just get that. Right, so we're going to keep that one and that one. Because they're both gold, aren't they? So we're going to get rid of you. Because you're an adult. You, you. Going to get rid of you. Yeah, before you become senior and then I can't get rid of you at all, can I? It sounds awful, doesn't it? Um, right, release you all to the wild. Because you're all brilliant. There we go. Animal trading. No, no, I didn't want that. Now, zoo. No, right. Because the ostriches are causing us a little bit of a hassle, aren't they? So, common ostrich. You're not gold. 
So you can be on. In fact, you... Yeah, I can't actually get rid of you yet. You're gold and a lady. You're gold and a male. So we'll put the rest of you on contraceptives. I mean, I'm giving contraceptives to children, essentially, because they're not... They're not adults, are they? So that doesn't really sit well with me. But we don't want millions of ostriches again, do we? In fact, there are no adult ostriches anymore. They're all kids. Well, they're all youth. It means that as soon as they're grown up, we'll just trade them out of the zoo. Because we, we don't need them. Now, people are complaining that the view isn't that good. So maybe what we could do... Oh, these are the pandas, aren't they? Maybe we could put a path down the back? I wonder why I never built the pandas to the corner. It just strikes me as something better to do. I mean, people love the pandas, don't they? Oh, the panda needs more hard shelter. Right, should we should we give you a hard shelter? How how does that work? Uh, habitat. Species giant panda. Come on, big shelter. There we go. Look at that. Are you happier now, panda? Your enrichment is quite low because we haven't got food enrichment. Right, okay. Back to the habitat we go. Uh, heaters and coolers, enrichment. Food. So we need a roller doodah and a tree scatter feeder. Look at that. Oh, I don't believe it. Look, we've got a panda cub. Since when did that happen? Oh, that is adorable. And it's floating. Look at that. Right, we can actually go onto the super duper cool camera, can't we, for that? Uh, stop turning around. I'm trying to take a picture of you to use as our video thumbnail because we've had a baby panda. Oi! Talking to you, chum. Yeah, you. There we go. Look at that. Oh, he's so cute. Come on, come this way. That'll do. Just, just look at the camera. You should be able to get them to look at the camera. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. Ying Yong. No, that is not your name. I'm not happy with that. Ying Yong. Ying Yong. We're going to change it to ping pong because I love playing ping pong. And I'm really hoping that when we go on holiday, there's a ping pong table. So you're absolutely going to be called ping pong now because that is an adorable name. Jiao. That's like Joe. Oh, hang on. Where are you going? You're off up the tree. Heck, how far up the tree are you going? Excuse me. The guests need to see you. Teng Fei. Oh, they are just adorable, aren't they? I love pandas. They are so cute. Oh, we've finished researching that disease. So can we research... Oh, hang on. No, why, why are we researching the common ostrich? We've already researched that. We don't need it again. Canine distemper. Right, we'll, we'll just keep researching all the all the illnesses. We may as well. I wonder how our... Can we can we have a look and see how these are doing, our retail outlets? I mean, they're... Uh, how are you doing? Uh, status prices. Let's have a look. No, that's not it. Finances. So you're making money. Oh, hang on. I've just popped his balloon. Go and buy another balloon. I'm trying to click on my shop. <laughs> Pizza pen. Wow, that is making some right money. Street Fox Coffee, again, making a lot of money. Get your balloons out of my way. Or I'll pop them all. That's making cash. That's making that's making a lot of cash. That's fantastic. And the balloon shop, £9,500. That is mental. Well, this retail kind of area was obviously a massive success, wasn't it? How are we doing over here with the snow leopard? Now, you are a lady, are you not? Bayarma. Right, can we have another snow leopard? Ideally a male, because I know these animals can be quite difficult to get into the zoo. I oh, know these are our animals, I, I want to look at They can be difficult to get into the zoo. No, we haven't got a snow leopard available. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's, that's soul destroying. Right, what we will do, however, is you're an awesome king penguin. So we're going to adopt you, because we need more penguins in the penguin place, don't we? 
And have we got any grey seals? Grey seal? It's a male. Now. Will the males fight? Because if the males are going to fight... Hmm. I don't know. Tell you what, let's just bung the male in. And then if they start fighting, we can we can bung the male out again. Right, you are arguably a lot better and you've got a bronze. Hang on, what have we got at the top? Nobody. Right, okay. Get that. Get that down there. Grey seal. But the better one. Yes. Pop you in the quarantine as well. Oh, who's that offspring now? We need to really look at these sable antelope business. Because uh, is, is there plenty of them? Hard shelter. Again, we need more hard shelter because there's a lot of antelopes, isn't there? Duplicate. Just just move. I'm just going to pop that on your head. I hope you don't mind. Pop another one over there. The antelope enclosure actually doesn't look terrible. Are you happier? Food enrichment in the habitat. That's not good enough, apparently. Oh, we've unlocked some of the snow leopard. That's good. Oh, advanced research bonus. So maybe we can... Advanced research. Ah, right. So you can advance research the penguins. So that might be why it let me carry on researching the uh, the ostrich. That's exciting. That's exciting stuff. Right, okay. Hang on a second. Sable antelope. What do you want in your uh, in your area? Sable antelope. Food enrichment. Oh, let's have one of them. And we'll have a barrel feeder, because everyone loves a barrel feeder. And a grazing ball. You've already got a grazing ball, so we'll stick that over there as well. As you can see, I put an awful lot of thought into where I uh, where I shove things. I don't just, just put them down willy-nilly. Right, penguin, you have passed. So you can go and live with the penguins. And then you have not passed. So you can just wait there for a second. Where's the snow leopard gone? Don't tell me it's escaped. Oh, you're lying down in the bed there. Okay. Yeah, I don't blame you, but can you just put your teeth away so you look a little bit less menacing? I keep thinking that's the snow leopard. Oh, diseased animal is discovered. That's no good. What is it? Oh, why are these red? Oh, because they're infertile. Clever. Right, Isabella is in transit. Nobody's actually saying that... Nobody's announcing that they're diseased. I reckon it's this chap in the, uh, in here. Hang on, where's the, isn't that the quarantine? Where's the, where's the seal? <laughs> it's not in the quarantine. That's no good. There's, there's no seal. Oh, well, the king penguins arrived in the zoo, so that's good. Oh, I love the penguins. Where's Isabella? Is she... No, that's Mason. Is that Isabella over there? No, that's Ivy. Heck, since when... When did we get all these penguins? Where did they all come from? Oh, Isabella's over there. She's on her belly. Oh, look at that. Aren't you sweet? Oh, I love it when they run like that. Yeah, you, you need to stop looking at penguins. Right, the king penguin is hungry. That's no good. Why are king penguins hungry? Right, we'll put another feeding station down there. And we will absolutely... Oh, hang on. Right, we're, we're being fed. Okay. I mean, we're still making a lot of money, aren't we? So, where are the keepers? Let's put another two keepers in. There we go. Train the entertainers. Not ent entertainers. This isn't Planet Coaster. Train the educators. Tell you what, let's... Uh, all the vendors, train to your next level. <coughs> oh, the Grey Seal's quarantine has been... Pa oh, he's back in the quarantine centre now. That's bizarre. <laughs> really weird. Right, I'll stick you in there, and if you start fighting, I'll split you up again. You were whinging that there's, uh, that there's not enough for you. So if I've got you a friend... You better better play nice. 
Eh, hey, I don't know. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Pop. Uh, yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed that. We finally managed to get four habitats in the middle here. We've also unlocked more things such as the uh, the arctic looking exhibits, but obviously I couldn't find anything in the exhibit trading that looked particularly arctic. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll put uh, maybe I'll put some terrapins in, although they don't strike me as being cold. I don't know. Yeah, they all seem quite hot climate things, don't they? But there we go. Uh, yes, if you have enjoyed the video today, please do show your appreciation. Click that like button. It's always appreciated by me. I've said appreciated too many times now. And uh, if you're enjoying the series, you want to keep up with it, I wouldn't blame you if you click that subscribe button. It's the best way to make sure that you don't miss out. Other than that, as I say, thanks so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.